What's up, Combo Cabal? Bryant Cook, and today we're playing a deck that is very similar to a Commander or Elder Dragon Highlander deck. You know, a lot of decks in that format are based around the interaction with Das's Oracle and decking yourself in some way with Demonic Consultation or Tainted Pact. And while today we're playing Tainted Pact Combo, so this deck is super popular from people coming to Commander to Legacy. When you play Paper Magic, or at least I have, a lot of people try to port this deck over. Today we're gonna play that deck. So this deck list comes from Ethan Formula Chea, also known as Monkeys Can't Cry. Ethan, you're a real hero. Thank you, and I appreciate you. So I did make a few changes to Ethan's deck list. Uh, I added in a Shred Memory because it finds both halves of the combo while being uncounterable and Wishclaw Talisman. Um, I did mess around with trying to cut one Oracle and instead add in a Jace, um, what is it called? Memory something? I don't remember. The four mana Jace where if you draw a card and you don't have a deck, you win the game. Um, it's memories of something. Anyway, so I tried to mess with that because the idea would be if you open-handed Oracle on a mulligan, you could put it on the bottom and then Tainted Pact and deck yourself that way. Um, but Ethan had two Oracle in the deck for some reason, and I trust Ethan's judgment, so I'm going to just do that. Ethan actually went 5-0 with uh, this list, so I'm just going to trust Ethan. There's probably two for a reason. We'll play two. Uh, I did cut. Ethan had a Cabal Therapy in the deck. Uh, it's primarily there to name Endurance, but I didn't really love it. It doesn't seem great if I'm being honest in Legacy right now, so I'm not playing it. So that's one of the slots that I made room for Shred Memory or Wish Call Talisman from. But let's rewind a little bit. I've gone too far. So let's say you've never played this deck before or even heard of this deck. What does it do? So you want to put Thassa's Oracle on the stack, and with Thassa's Oracle, you win the game if you have no cards in your library. So then use Tainted Pact to exile your deck because we play all singletons. So Tainted Pact is forced to stop. Well, why don't we just read Tainted Pact actually? So for one in a block, two total mana, it's an instant exile the top card of your library. You can repeat this process until you reveal two cards with the same name. By playing a bunch of singletons in your deck, you can just deck yourself on command. We do have two copies of Oracle, so if you were to have a Tainted Pact into an Oracle, you could stop and then cast a second Tainted Pact and win the game. Uh, which is one reason to play two copies of Tainted Pact uh, or two Oracles. There's also this Divining Witch here where we could name Thassa's Oracle and exile one from the top six and not get punished, which could be a thing. Um, yeah, but in general, we're just looking to do that combo. We also have Thought Lash here to deck ourselves as well if you don't have the Tainted Pact. Uh, there's some different ways of doing it, but in general, we are always looking to win with Thassa's Oracle. No Jace memories. Why don't I just look it up? I have one in my collection. All right, what are you called? Wielder of Memories, this thing. I almost added one of this in and then decided against it. Uh, I'm just going to trust Ethan. I think the big thing is that a four mana card that doesn't win the game on its own in Legacy is kind of a tough ask. So we're just not going to play that Jace. Um, but for the most part, that's what this deck is. It's all singletons. There's a bunch of really sweet cards in here, which is the reason I wanted to play it today, because when you're playing singletons, you get to play some weird corner case stuff like Portent, a card that when I was a kid was stock in the tempo decks because Ponder didn't even exist yet. Yes, that's how old I am, but we're playing some sweet cards like Portent, um, Unearth, step through step through wizard cycles and you might think yeah obviously it gets Thassa's oracle but it also gets snapcaster mage malevolent hermit spell seeker so that way you can get you can go the long way to go get a tainted pact you can get jace Vryn's, uh prodigy there's a bunch of sweet things you can get here this deck is just like really really awesome uh, so that's the idea. And then in the sideboard, you'll notice we have a bunch of different graveyard hate ranging from Surgical Extraction to Leyline of the Void, Crypt, Soul Guide Lantern, Nile Spellbomb. Because when you're playing all singletons, you get to run a bunch of sweet stuff. And a card that I added into the board was March of Swirling Mist. I've loved this card in every format that I've played it. Why not try it in Legacy in this blue-black deck? So I'm definitely interested in March today. And then we have two copies of Hydroblast and Blue Elemental Blast. Two total copies, that is. 
but that's the deck list. And before we hop into the first match, how dare Ethan send me a deck list with no rod in it, right? Like that's just disrespectful, but we're going to play it. Ethan suggests it. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, everyone, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope that we crush with this deck list. Ethan won 5-0. Let's see if we can do the same. I'll see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We're on the draw and we've opened up Doomsday, a card that has its own deck named after it, makes it super easy for us to win. I'm going to try this. We have to hope that our opponent's not on a fast combo deck here, because if they are on a fast combo deck, we're done for. All right, Mana Bond, are they on the uh, the Madness deck or normal lands? Okay, five cards in hand. Are they using the trigger? They opt to not use the trigger. Wishclaw Talisman. Um, I think I'm gonna fetch here and knock. I don't think I'm supposed to get a Swamp. I guess the downside here is that I've already committed. I'm just going to cast the uh, the Serum Visions. We had Force Negation, but I think that's a little bit late. Um, do I want the two lands? So next turn, we probably just play Wishclaw. I think we probably keep the two lands. I'm not sure. All right, pass. I think that this is probably the, the Madness deck that Phil was playing. I mean, it could just be lands, but who knows? Looking more and more like lands. I'm going to force that, and we can pitch Jace. Okay. Mana bond triggers. Uh oh. Three single mana off the combo. Do I have an out? I'm trying to think if I have an out in my main deck. I know that I have a fetch land on top right now. All right, let's just play the wish claw. Pass the turn. So they have the combo. There is eight mulch, okay. They're going to cast life from the loam, that makes sense. Okay, and then the mana bond triggers. I don't know if I have an out. This is making me nervous. Um 
Might as well draw the fetch land on top. I think we just pass the turn, and then when they go to activate, we can search our deck with the Wish Claw. So they'll make a, uh, a Merit Lodge here, and they can do the same thing next turn, too. Yep. All right, so they've successfully made a Merit Lodge. We'll grab Underground Sea here. And do we have anything? Um, Ottawa is way too slow. Fatal push doesn't work. Drown on the lock doesn't work. Cling to dust only gains life if they have a creature, and there's no creatures. Um, is there a way to stay alive here? I guess I could have done this in my main phase, but I don't think even if I had done it in my main phase, if there was a card to get here. Uh, Snapcaster doesn't block flyers, Spellseeker doesn't, Hermit doesn't work. We are in fact dead. Okay, so we can go to the next one. I don't believe I'm missing anything here. Well, that was a bummer. So we got eight mulched. Uh, time to go to the board. Let's make this, uh... I don't like doing pile view because I feel like it's tough to see for the viewer. But with this deck, I mean, I guess I could do card view and shrink everything a lot. I don't know if this is any better or not. Okay, let's slide this in. Um, so March does buy us a turn, but it's not a bounce spell. I think we probably do want some of this graveyard hate. Fatal Push seems like garbage. We can get rid of that. I don't think Misdirection is that good here. I guess they might have Pyroblast, though. Hmm. Fluster counters Pyro. Pack counters Endurance. Fling is fine. Hermit seems not great here. We can get rid of the Hermit. I don't know if this is really a brutality matchup either. We could probably get rid of that. It's 57. We can bring in Leyline. Voidwalker. A few of these Graveyard Hate cards. Maybe March. So that puts us at 63 cards. This might not be a Jace matchup. Like, Jace seems a little bit slow here. That brings us down to 62, and we have 58 seconds to uh, come up with some decisions. Maybe I don't do Dothy. Maybe that's just not where I want to be. Um, and then, like, take out Days, maybe, against the land stack? Let's try this. No uh, real plan here, I guess. On the play. Cannot keep that. Do we keep five lands step through? <laughs> oh no, am I supposed to keep this? Um, it does get Thassa's Oracle. I guess they can't wasteland me out. Um, put back the Watery Grave, I guess. And pass the turn. I don't know if I was supposed to mulligan this or not. Like, it technically has half of the combo in it. So if I can just find Tainted Pact. Exploration, you got it. Field of the Dead. Okay, I'm going to sit on this fetch for a little bit, I think, until I... Well, at least until the round stop. Uh, so Thought Lash is like a Tainted Pact, so I could step through for... Um... What is it called? Spellseeker. Spellseeker gets Tainted Pact. Oh no, I could, no, never mind. I'm an idiot. We can, this card doesn't matter. I mean, I guess it hits my oof, or uh, the oof hits the crypt. Uh, that's fine. 
bog. That's fine too. Okay, so we can get uh, Thassa's Oracle here and then this decks us. Okay. Um, I don't think it really matters here. I'm just gonna get the two tap lands. Draw. That's the turn. On their end step, we can step through for the um you i mean we still have two lands in hand the problem is if this starts recurring there's the problem damn it and i can't use the tormod script due to the oof oh and i didn't ah oh, i didn't cycle there <sighs> I, I guess i should have gotten basics that's my own fault Okay, pass the turn. I mean, this can go get a swamp. So now, life from the loam. Mindbreak trap to sage you. Yeah, I play. I could have gotten basics. That's my own fault. Right, let's cycle this. Ethan would have won this match by now. Uh, we'll just grab the oracle. I don't even know how many lands with basic land types I have left, so this Besaju might actually become an issue. Alright, well, they played it. Alright. Draw. Okay. So I, I still have a basic swamp in the deck that isn't the snow covered swamp. Milled another collector roof. All right, so we go to 12, they have five cards. They get back the waste. Blast zone, wasteland, sure. Draw. Ponder, painted pact, come on. Ding. All right, we'll take the pact. Okay. What did they play there? Oh, they dredged. Okay, my bad. So they hit the Dark Depths. The Seiju, or the Collector Roof gets in. Away from the Loam. Field of the Dead. Okay. Upkeep, let's fetch. Draw. Oracle, we need this to resolve. All right. Tainted Pact. Storm 2 gets through Mind Break. All right, we, now we just click the 4 button. The 4 is the No button if you're unfamiliar. And now we click 4 until we're docked. All right, so we haven't guaranteed one this yet. Our opponent could have a card that I don't want to say out loud. All right, Oracle. Oracle. Come on, don't slow roll me like this. Crop rotation. What is this for? They have three cards in hand. We know one of them is a Besaju. All right, so they don't have the Endurance, and uh, we get game number two. I did not play that game that well. Uh, that was pretty bad. So do we want to change how I boarded for this game at all? Um, I don't know. Like, you could board in the Hydro and the Pyroblast because they do counter Pyro and um, Red Elemental Blast, but I don't know if that's better than just having the protection we already have that hits their green spells. I think I'm just going to resubmit here. Okay, and this time I'm going to be a little bit more conscious about fetching for basics so I don't throw away the game. Is this a keep? 
I'm gonna hide my cyborg. I don't know why that's out. Um, sure, why not? Let's keep it. What could go wrong, right? My opponent with the mulligan to five. Okay. Burning catacombs, and they're passing the turn. Draw. I'm going to get a basic swamp here. And let's thought see. So you want to play thought sees first and kept in just in case they kept um like a hand that was all like mind breaks or something. Uh it's interesting they didn't cast the crop rotation. I have to hope that the winding way fizzles, I think. And by fizzles, I mean it's just like duds. Because I can't counter winding way right here. Alright, and then they're going to cast one. You got it. What are the reveals? All right, so they picked up a Sage of Windswept Heath. Draw. Okay. I think we just Inquisition the Winding Way. All right now they have three lands. Pass the turn. Might cycle the Cling to Dust. Sure. So they have Besaju left in hand. Yeah, I think I might just remove the um, the Verdant through Brainstorm. Draw. All right, let's see what I can find here. Thoughtlash would get destroyed by the Besaju, so I don't know if that's actually a card we want. Um, and I can't counter the Besaju either. But I do think I can put back this Fluster. Maybe even the Misdirection. Okay, I'm going to pass the turn. Picked up a Stomping Ground. Field, okay. So one thing I could do is build up the 6 mana and just deck myself with the Beseju... Like, the Besage wouldn't matter if I built up to six lands, and they decided to play it. So that just made my life even easier. Alright, so let's fetch here. I'll grab the island. Draw. Alright, so I could play Thoughtlash here, uh, which is a possibility. Or I can just go get the Oracle. And I think I'm supposed to just go get Oracle. Tread Memory, Transmute. Cast his Oracle, and then we're just going to cast Serum Visions into Tainted Pact again. Yes! <laughs> Serum Visions, the best cantrip in the deck. Can't tell me otherwise. Hell yeah. Love it. Called Shot. We even have Pact Backup if they drew Red Elemental Blast. They drew a land. Okay. So it looks like a Tainted Pack combo is going to win the first match. How about that? Oracle. Tainted Pact. Remove that deck. Hit that four key over and over and over again. Woot woot. Counterspell backup too. You'll love to see it. We made Ethan proud in the first match. We have four more times that I'd like to make Ethan proud. Let's see if we can do it. I'd love to 5-0 with this. But for now, why don't we just head on to match number two. I'll see you there. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Round two and we're on the play. Let's get it. I'm so excited. Um, I don't think we're allowed to keep this, Mulligan. 
Okay, this seems fine. I don't really know what our opponent's playing, but I know that they used to play the Epic Storm. So I think I'll keep this and bottom the Fatal Push. And I think we just lead off on a turn one discard spell. Grab that Underground C. Cast Thought Seas. Looks like they're on Death Shadow. Uh, I'm going to get punished here because this. Um, yikes. Okay. Uh, Wasteland is going to be so brutal. Yep. Goodbye, Underground Sea. Draw. Pass that turn. Misty. They've played the Waste. Okay, draw. There we go. I think I'm just going to pass here. Played another Misty, so we know that they have a Verdant. I think I'm going to let that go. I could try to Spell Pierce it, but we lose the Daze Fight right here. They activate their Misty. Okay. This seems like a good time to cast the Spell Pierce. And if we want to fight over dazes, we can. Okay. They have five cards in hand, one of which is an underground C. Ouch, we go to 12. Let's Inquisition them. There's a resolve. Berserk. So they're on a wild list. Okay. Um, I think we just take the dress down here. This is uh, Shades of uh, Hulk Smash from when I was a kid, which was the Psychotog Berserk deck. Draw. Step through, not good enough. Uh, I think we're just going to cling. Let's cling Thought Season draw a card. I just want to try to hit my land here. We did not hit a land. Okay, we do have the long way of going step through into Oracle with Divining Witch, but I would need way more lands to make this work. Opponent had another Brainstorm, so they should have been able to fix up their hand here. Good luck. What are you taking? My hand doesn't do anything. They take the Unearth. Sure. A. Um. Guess we grab this. I'm gonna try to play the Divining Witch here. See if that resolves. And they force it. I. Yeah, I'm in. Thank you for that exchange. That was fantastic. Really the best. All right, they have a shadow. Draw. That wasn't bad. Let's cast this brainstorm. Hmm. I think we can try to get rid of the shred memory. Unfortunately, uh, I guess I could have hit one of these spells on top for a turn in case they drew a discard spell. But unfortunately, uh, we didn't hit a shuffle effect there. We're at eight. Ponder. Shuffle. What are lands? That's a land. I um, think we pass. On their end step, we'll cycle the step through. And then on our turn, we play Spellseeker for... Um, ooh. If they kept the Berserk on the Brainstorm, we're dead here. Okay, did you keep Berserk? Looks like you did. Um, I can't Wizard Cycle for anything good here. We are, in fact, dead. We've been Berserked out of the game. It happened. All right. So we're facing Death Shadow. I think Dispel's probably a pretty good card here, if I had to guess. 
Um, and none of these other cards actually seem that useful. I guess Mystical Dispute's fine. Alright, what don't we want in this matchup? I mean, Fatal Push doesn't seem that good, but maybe I'm wrong. I think we could probably board off the Thought Lash. I don't see myself ever resolving that card. Maybe the Cling to Dust? Let's try this out. Down a game versus Death Shadow, and we're on the play. Yeah, this hand seems sweet. Keep, 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 keep. Um, let's just play the Catacomb Tapped. It gives us a perfect Brainstorm next turn, which is what we're looking for. Wasteland. Sure. Draw. Dark Slick and Preordain. These both seem fine. Passing the turn. And another Wasteland. Sure. Draw. Sunken Hollow. Pass the turn. Do you have Wasteland 3? No Wasteland 3. Ooh. That hurts, because we have the uh, a Tainted Pact in our hand. And they choose Inquisition. That's interesting. Okay. Draw. Let's brainstorm. Do I fire off this Thought Seize? I think I might want to. What are you hiding? Grab Underground Sea, Thought Seize. Their Dreadnought deck? <laughs> All right, so they have Decay. Um, I don't think there's any point to me taking one of these. I could take the Dress down. Maybe that's the play here. Pass. Okay. Ponder, you got it. Did not shuffle their library. Draw. Hmm. Uh, actually, I have a watery grave I can fetch with this. All right, let's play the Jace. Pass the turn. Another ponder. I'm going to attempt to mystical dispute this. I want to stop them from hitting a green source for this abrupt decay. Attempt to counter ponder. They forced it. Pitching dress down. That's a good exchange for me. All right. Coming back. They did not shuffle. They found the green source, so now they can abrupt decay my Jace. And then they'll have double uh, Dreadnought in hand, which that's fine. Draw. Lusta. Let's see if we can find an oracle here in a land. Um, no, but I did find an unearth for this Jace. Hell yeah. Bring back my Jace. And pass. Okay. Draw. Let's opt and put that force on the bottom, see what we find. Spellseeker. Draw card. Hmm. Let's discard the Spellseeker. So now this flips and I can flash back a card. I don't really think I want to play a discard spell into the draw. I don't think that's like a useful thing to do here. Um, I'm going to give flashback to, I could do Unearth into Spellseeker. Okay. Now we search. So ideally we get something that could get the fastest Oracle. 
The problem is like muddle takes too long. Can you get another tainted pack? That's guaranteed to hit it. Can also just grab fatal push. Honestly, I don't hate that. Just make sure we don't lose the game to dreadnoughts. Okay, draw. Um, let's fetch, and then I can play this Hermit. Ooh, all right, here's a sweet line. On their end step, I can Tainted Pact until I hit an Oracle, and then next turn, Jace to, um, then flashback the Tainted Pact. I guess it loses if they have any sort of interaction. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to hold off on that line. All right, so now we can protect that line. All right, let's get in there for three. So this is going to knock our opponent down to eight, but they're still a Death Shadow deck. I wasn't expecting to win any games through combat damage today, but maybe, you know, there's a world where that happens. Want to play a land. There's a shadow. They still have double dreadnought. Let's see if this push resolves. Okay, and it does. Tainted Pact. If our opponent has a force, they could force this. Slate of Hand, no. Spell Pierce, no. Consider. Profane Tutor. Shred Memory. Sunken Ruins. Swamp. Is there a way that... Are these revealed anywhere? There we go. Alright, so I don't want that. We, we're looking for an Oracle here. Dr. Brutality, Drawn in the Lock, Island, Tarn, Horse, Snap. I do want you. Okay. What? Um. That was not what I intended. Um. Is this bugged? I'm like afraid to cast this other tainted pack now. Um I guess we tried the other one. Muddle. No. Portent. No. Divining Witch? No. Cavern, no. Wishclaw, no. No to Vista. Yes to Oracle. I think that, okay, I think I know what happened. I went too far and I was looking at this pile as things to say yes or no to, and I had already exiled the Oracle. Okay. Draw. Do I even have a fetchable here? No is the answer. All right, let's get in there. Uh, we will give Tainted Pact flashback. Oracle. And now we cast Tainted Pact. We will exile the final 12 cards of our deck. Oracle triggers. All right, we got it. All right, going to game three. <laughs> okay. Um... We have some new information about what our opponent's playing, but I don't know if we want to change anything. Facing the 4x dress down deck when we're the Oracle deck is obviously not great. Um, could bring in Surgical just to hit dress down. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, Force of Negation doesn't seem very good here. Let's try this out. That was a fun one. Let's see if we can get game three, though. I'd really like that. Hell yeah. Keep. 
So our opponent has shown us that they like the wastelands. So I'm a little bit worried about our sunken hollow here, but gotta live dangerously sometimes. Sunken hollow pass. Do not wasteland me. Misty rainforest. Gets watery grave. Brainstorm. Ooh, and they're passing, so they've missed their land drop. Their brainstorm locked. Um, I'm going to cast my own brainstorm while they're tapped out here. Yes, we hit a tainted pack. That's so good. Um, I think we get rid of a fatal push here. And one swamp. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm just going to grab an island and pass. So I think how we lose this game is a discard spell hits one of our combo pieces. So I'm just going to protect our combo. I'm going to spell pierce the... Uh, let's fluster that. This is the way Daze doesn't uh, win the fight. Okay. Draw. Fortunate. Fetch again. Let's preordain. These can both go on the bottom. I think we're looking for like force of will here. Important target myself. Ponder Snapcaster. Think we shuffle these? Pass the turn. We'll draw a random card in their upkeep. Another land. Okay. Prefer less lands here. That's for sure. So I think we're supposed to wait a little bit until we can uh, play through days or just draw this brutality. Let's uh, discard them. And they're going to force. Pitch days. I'm going to fight here only because this way I don't lose the days on the following. And they conceded. They conceded. We're 2 all with Tainted Pack combo. Yes. How about that? All right. Still making Ethan proud. Three rounds left to go. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eve progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three with Tainted Pack combo. We're on the play. Wow. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. We need two lands. That's what we need here. We technically have a cantrip with this cling to dust. We have some protection. Oh, I'm in love with this deck right now. Dark Slug Shores pass. Opponent cast Mox Diamond. I'm gonna let that go. I don't think that's the spell I'm supposed to counter. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. I'm gonna add a black. Okay. And now I'm going to remove the wasteland and draw a card. Okay. So we're facing lands. All right, we drew Vista, that's good. We do have to find more lands in order to win this though. Saga moves up to two. 
the Seiju, Dark Depths. Wow. Back against the wall already. All right, draw. If you fetch, they could um, crop rotation and kill you, so I don't want that to happen. So I did not fetch with my Vista, and I know that I'm playing Watery Grave into uh, what they have going on. Like, they could have Wasteland or something, but I just can't afford to lose the crop rotation here. If they decide the slow route of winning with Saga, we can beat that. Okay. Saga moves up to three now. What are you doing? All right, they're going to make a construct. We're just going to grab an island. And now they get to search. They get map. Ooh, um... I can't kill this construct. I just realized. Um, but with mana value, not power toughness. So this should work. Okay. So we're just looking to draw one more land, and then we have our combo. Burning catacombs. And they're passing. Land. Okay. So we have all the lands we need. I, I guess actually what I could do here is you could Tainted Pact down to one card and then draw that card on tap an Oracle. Okay. They're using map. They get an Urza Saga. So they're going the long way here. But we don't need to do that trick because we just have four lands. Um, Oracle. Tainted Pact. <sighs> I think we got it. Hit that four key over and over again. Exile our entire library. That's how we do. Okay, card by card. About 15 cards left in her deck at the moment. Exiling the entire thing. Boom. And we get game number one. Love to see it. Okay, so... I think we want the Graveyard Hate. And the Graveyard Hate, I was thinking about it in between rounds. It actually doubles as endurance protection which is kind of nice uh so i do enjoy that i don't know if we want any of this other stuff i guess you could maybe board in the surgical i don't think we want leyline or dothy voidwalker 64 cards hmm once again, I think Spellseeker is too expensive. I'm going to get rid of the Thought Lash for the same reason. That brings us to at 62. Misdirection does uh, swerve a Pyroblast, uh, but I don't know if that's actually good enough here. I think we could probably get rid of the Hermit. Maybe take out the Fatal Push versus the Lands deck. It does kill a Saga token, but I don't know if that's meaningful enough. Let's try this out. Okay, so we've opened up on double tutor plus force. I don't hate this. We do need lands. And they chose to keep seven. We'll do the same. Windswept teeth, and they're passing. Draw. Play the Mire pass. I wonder if I'm supposed to just, like, get a basic swamp with this uh, Bloodstained Mire. That might be too crazy. Saga, okay. You can have a Mox Diamond. They discard Dark Depths. They're fetching. Is this a, a Life from the Loam? If it is, I will force it. 
Choke. Uh, I'm going to let Choke go. It doesn't actually affect our hand, and I'm just going to make sure that when I tap my islands, they win the game. Draw. Okay, let's go get a Swamp. Suspend this Profane Tutor pass. Yeah, nice choke versus my double swamp. I don't know what you were thinking. Come on. All right, on a more serious note, they do have Saga on two counters. I'm not going to play out the Wishclaw because I don't want them to get Needle and Name Claw. <laughs> so next turn, I'll probably play either the Brutality or the Knight's Whisper. And they have Wasteland. Okay. Profane Tutor. Draw. Knight's Whisper, see if we can hit a land. It's a blue land, uh, but it's a land that also gets wastelanded. Is that worth playing out? I think I want to hang on to that. And we'll just go to discard. Get rid of the spell pierce. Sure, you have a construct. There's a saga. So they're making another construct. And then they get to search their library. Prop rotation. Um, I'm going to force that. We'll pitch the muddle because I'm never casting that muddle. Okay. They get another map. We take four down to 13. So now the profane tutor happens. Cast this. Am I supposed to get packed? Or do I get the oracle here? I honestly don't know which is correct. Um, I think you're supposed to get the oracle. Because if you naturally draw packed, you can just cast it. Island? Or fetch? Ah! Oh, brutal. Okay, um... I think we just play the claw. Don't know if we can come back, because this deck list doesn't have a lotus petal in it, so I don't think there's a way of cheesing the oracle into play through waste. So, it, I'd also take eight here, putting me at... Um... What's math? Five? Ooh, they have Sphere. All right, they've got this one. Let's just go to game three. Okay. My no island draw did not matter. Um, I mean, I could board an Energy Flux. Is it even good though? Like they're a Pyroblast deck. I do think that Collector Brutality is a little bit stinky here, so let's take that out. Fatal Push is at least better than the Brutality. Let's try this. Need to get this third game. On the play. Um, I honestly don't know if this is good. We don't have Dark Ritual in the deck, so like Doomsday is pretty hard to cast. I think I'm going to take a mulligan. Better, I suppose. Um, keep and bottom. A fetch? Or no, the Watery Grave. That's what I meant to say. Alright, so let's just go get the basic Swamp and Duras. Grand Foundry, Red Elemental Blast. I think we can beat the Reb. Um, I mean, we could probably beat the Sphere, too. Hmm. Which is more difficult to beat, the Reb or the Grand Foundry? I think the Foundry... I meant to say the, uh, that was a miss. I, I meant to say the sphere, not the rub. The rub, I think, will actually be easy to beat. Yep. 
Okay. Draw. Ooh. So I'm going to get sphered, but the Snapcaster is going to be just a second late here. Because if we had one, or like, if for some reason our opponent doesn't play it, we could Snapcaster into Duress. But uh, I think they're just going to play Sphere. All right, let's add double blue. I'm an aggro deck. And it resolves. Okay, so I'm the beatdown. Get in there. My fear here is uh, our opponent's pretty close to being able to kill me with a decent draw. Next turn we can cast Doomsday. No! Wow. Um, I don't think I have an answer to this. It's so brutal. Oh, jeez. Stupid fatal push. We're just dead to the Merit Lodge. I can't cast Doomsday because they'll just kill me. Yep. And we're dead. That's a heartbreaker. All right, two and one. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Time to bounce back. Match number four, we're on the play. Sure, keep. Opponent with the mulligan. I think we just play the Drowned Catacomb tapped and passed the turn. Mox Diamond again. All right. So many lands. They discarded Dark Depths. Saga, you got it. I don't think there's any point in forcing this, so I'm just going to have that happen. We we do have this Atawara, but getting to four lands is going to be a bit of an ask. All right, so let's just cast this Brainstorm and see what our options are. So I can put back the Cavern. And the Wish Claw. Next turn, I can actually cast the Doomsday. We, just have to, we have to stay alive that long. That's the, the real ask here. All right, and then portent. We don't want any of those. We're going to shuffle. All right, pass the turn. Draw a random card. Shred memory. So they dredge and they hit Valcut. Exploration, Besaju, Exploration. So not a very good dredge for the opponent. Thespian Stage. So we know that they have Dark Depths in hand, which means that next turn they can make a Merit Lodge. But we have Doomsday and we're going to cast it. Draw. Okay, the question is, can we build a pile that wins in one turn? This deck doesn't even have a Lotus Petal in it. Okay. I don't know if we have cyclers either. <laughs> um, there's no predict. Yeah, like, I don't think this is a very good Doomsday deck. Um, how do we do this? I don't know. Um, so if I start the pile with Knight's Whisper... That draws two into Oracle, and then that should win. Where's the Knight's Whisper? Uh, I could also consider... Consider mill something 
that that does it for one less mana, I suppose. Um. So I would draw, consider mill, draw the oracle. I could put another cantrip in there, I guess. Put an opt in there. Why not? And I don't know. Um, this is, I don't know why I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. We'll put it in a cavern. I don't know. All right, so we'll put cavern on the bottom. Um, I actually want to mill my top card. So I want to mill the oracle, so I'll put the opt here. Oracle consider. All right. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. It's fine. Now our opponent can make a construct. Really regret this deck not having like a chain of vapor or something in it. And they do make the construct, okay. So now in their upkeep, or I guess they can do it in their main phase. It doesn't need to be in their upkeep. So they draw a card, and now they can make another construct and search their library for something that costs one. And when they do that, um, they'll be able to have a 4-4 four, four construct, which would put me to four, but that's not going to be a good enough job here. And they're going to tap the Saga for mana. They get spell bomb. Okay. Needle. So needle makes the construct larger, but I don't think that matters. So I would take four. This could potentially do six. Yeah, I don't think any of this matters. Street Wraith. Okay. Seems weird that you would name Wraith when uh you have a spell bomb in play. You want me to cycle Street Wraith. I mean, there's no Street Wraith in my deck, but, you know, they don't know that. Okay. John has three cards. We're drawing Consider here. We're going to play this. Cast the Consider. We're going to mill our Oracle. Yes. We draw Opt. Cast this. Put it on top, draw it. We have one card, and now we play Oracle. Woot woot, we got a win. Let's get another. I would like that. So another lands deck. Once again, we're going to bring in these uh, artifacts. And the surgical. Let's get rid of the brutality. Hermit. Thought Lash and the Spellseeker. The Spellseeker is just worse than Tread Memory or Muddle because either of these get both halves, where the Spellseeker only gets one. Um, I don't know if I want to board in anything else. Maybe I should be boarding in the Energy Flux, though. This doesn't seem right against the Pyroblast deck, but maybe I'm just, like, overthinking it. I'm just going to submit. Game 2 on the draw against lands. We go put up on a Tainted Pact and our answer to uh, a Merit Lodge. I think we'll try this out. Ancient Tomb. Sure. Got lands for days over here. Draw. Let's just play turn. And I think, once again, I'm going to try to be more active about fetching for basics so I don't lose to Wasteland. Canopy. Exploration, okay. I was really hoping that was a life from the loam so I could nab it with my Soul Guide Lantern. Ghost Quarter. That's obnoxious. Um... Hmm. I was going to play out 
the island. Now I don't know if I should. Just gonna play this sunken hollow and pass. If they want to ghost quarter that, I can grab a basic swamp so it works out. And they're passing the turn. Draw. Okay. Yes. Grab our swamp. Draw. That worked out well. And now we can exile that with our soul guideline turn. Get out of here, ghost quarter. This is a crop rotation. Okay, that's fine. They get Tyga. They draw Tyga for turn and play it. We know that they drew it because they missed the line drop last turn. Draw. Ponder. So I think I want to name Wizard and then play Jace. This could eat a Pyroblast, and if it does, sweet. They sacrifice the canopy, okay. And they kill Jace. It was real. Draw. So this can get another swamp. I'm gonna start off on Ponder. Divining Witch. So Shred Memory can get Oracle. Okay, so let's fetch for the swamp. Snow covered swamp. And then this gets our other island. Transmute, we'll go grab the oracle. So next turn we actually have both halves of the combo and we can even beat an endurance with the soul guide. All right, well now they can hit our cavern and slow us down a little bit. Okay, they still have four cards in hand. Draw. Step through is useless. Um, I guess it gets another Oracle. Let's start off with a portent. I don't need any of that. Yes, and then we can cast the sleight of hand. I think I'll take the mire. I, I don't mind lands here. So we are now once again in a spot where I can attempt to win the game next turn. Drop the port on unearth. Beautiful. Okay. Let's fetch. What's nice about drawing the unearth is if they counter the oracle, we can just try again next turn. Draw. Play the Ottawara. Boss's Oracle. Ooh, I just realized this doesn't, this says each opponent's graveyard, so I would lose here. I, I guess I wouldn't lose. Um, I messed up. I could have set this up to not. Because now if they, hmm. So if I go for it, I have no way of coming back to win other than beat down. All right, let's just try for it. If they have endurance, we'll figure something out. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure they have endurance here. Okay. Oracle. And then we have to figure out a way of beating endurance. Oh, they just conceded. Okay. Well, how about that? Sometimes your opponent just doesn't have it. We're three and one. Let's finish this strong. I think a four one would be a very good showing. Maybe uh, Ethan could still be slightly proud of that. Stick around. Let's see if we can make that happen. 
If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. The fifth and final match, we are on the play. So we've opened up an Oracle. I think this sand's probably good enough. Let's try it out. Prismatic Vista and pass the turn. Delta, okay. Draw. We'll match their Delta with our Delta. Pass the turn. Taiga, is this the Epic Storm? Okay. Brainstorm. Okay, um, I don't think we need this Jace or the Pact. Let's get rid of those. And let's go get a Watery Grave. Okay, draw. Uh, let's see if we can find Tainted Pact. This is like a Tainted Pact. Um... But it's kind of slow. I mean, we're going to take it. But I have to leave up double counter. I can't just pass the turn here. Uh, You know. What I mean, like, I can't just let them combo out. And it's looking a lot like the Epic Storm. Okay. Storm is three. That's a right of flame. Okay. Lion's Eye Diamond. Galvanic Relay. I'm just going to let it go. They could pay for my fluster, so there's no real point in me casting it. Okay. And they hit a veil off that, which is unfortunate. Okay, come on, Tainted Pact, please. Not Tainted Pact. Um, we're going to play the Divining Witch and pass the turn. So we have the win next turn, but I don't think we're going to get to live that long is the problem. Opal, okay. Sure. They have Resolve Brainstorm. From Mox. And Prince Veil of Summer. Cast Veil. So I could Fluster here and make them pay five, which might be fine. Um, I think that's the plays, Flustering. The problem is that this spell pierce is unlikely to stop them from winning. And they just let it go. So we know that they have a dark ritual and a ponder still in exile. They have ponder. And another veil of summer. Spell pierce. Okay. I mean, we're dead if they have an action spell. And they do. Okay, they got me. We have not gotten game number one over the Epic Storm. Okay, so how do we want to board here? Dispel's probably fine. Surgical's okay. Um... We don't want any of the dedicated graveyard hate. That's not really what this matchup's about. So weirdly enough, Dothy Voidwalker creates a problem where if they cast Veil of Summer, I can then use Dothy Voidwalker to have my own Veil of Summer, and then they have to win with Empty. So Dothy is actually fine here. Might be able to get the opponent with an Energy Flux, Null Rod. 
think we might want these. Okay, let's see what we want to take out here, though. Uh, I don't think Pact is actually very good, so we'll get rid of the Pact. Don't want Cling to Dust, don't want Fatal Push. I don't think this matchup is about Unearth, so that can get sided out. Misdirection isn't very good, so we can get rid of that. Although I could misdirect appear into the abyss and live the dream. So maybe we'll keep that. Um I think Thought Lash is probably a little bit slow. What else? We have three cards to figure out what to cut here. Maybe it is don't board in the Dothy. Jace. Jace is a value card. We don't really want that. Uh, I mean, Hermit's like a bad mana leak, so maybe we can get rid of that. Let's try this out. Game two against the Epic Storm. Sure, why not? Futsies. And they have Carpet of Flowers. So if I take the if I don't take the burning wish, they have turn one relay for a bunch. Which is unfortunate because this blue elemental blast would wreck them if I could untap. Um We just have to take the burning wish. Taiga. They play out the pedal, maybe to play around days, and then carpet, sure. Now they switch phases. And they're passing. Draw. The old Divining Witch. So I'm going to pass here. Like, playing out Divining Witch is obviously cool or whatever. But I don't want to risk dying when I just have double counter in hand. Um, dispute. Okay. Now they're passing the turn. They have double right of flame and one unknown. I will play Divining Witch now. Add black, black. So what's kind of interesting about the Divining Witch is that it can get both halves of the combo on its own just very, very slowly. Okay. So still a pair of Rite of Flames and then one unknown. Rite of Flame. Rite of Flame. Burning Wish. Well, feels bad, but I'm going to do it. All right, fastest Oracle off the top rope. Let's see it. I think we just pass here. So on their end step, we will activate the Divining Witch for Oracle and then untap and we name like, I don't know, City in a Bottle and win the game that way. And they're passing. Okay, so let's activate this Divining Witch. Discard the Sleight of Hand. Thassa's Oracle. Okay. Draw. Ouch. We'll add blue, blue. Play the Oracle. Oracle trigger on the stack. Activate the Divining Witch. You're already dead. Hmm. Why can't I figure out how to do this? It's you are already dead. There we go. Hi, uh, we did it. So proud. <laughs> okay. So we've gotten game number two. We still have to get game three against the Epic Storm. I could bring in Leyline of the Void to stop Echo or Rite of Flames. Maybe I should have done that in the first game. What to take out? Probably the Spellseeker, honestly. Like, I don't think that card's that good here. See how it goes. 
we have Norod, the card that makes my life miserable, and we have Leyline, so let's keep this. Hope to find land two and slam the Norod. Okay, looks like uh, they might have a hot start here. Nope, just playing out the pedal. All right, we really want to find land two. Draw. Misdirection. So now Peer into the Abyss could could be legendary. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there that Peer could be really good for us. We've already shut off Echo. Uh, I would love to misdirect a Peer into the Abyss, please. Carpet of Flowers happens. Okay, they're just passing the turn. Come on, land. Uh, we missed. We have to pass the turn. I just want to live the dream so badly of misdirecting a peer into the abyss. Wish claw, yeah. Come on, deck, please give me a land. Can't believe I'm in this spot where I'm begging to cast no rod. Draw. No. Uh, we're just gonna discard this knight's whisper. Actually, the step through. Well, step through pitches to misdirection. It's the whisper. Okay. Well, they're unlikely to cast misdirection or uh, the what is it called? Here into the abyss now that they have wish claw because they can just add nos. Could have dispelled that. I don't think it's worth it. Play swamp and they're passing. Come on, Doc. Please give me a land. Draw. Kill me, Smalls. Brainstorm. Ah, oh, gross. Okay. Um, put back the step through and Oracle. Now we have to move to discard. Discard this. Uh, recycling veil of summer. The disrespect. Um, I'm going to put discard. So the surgical I'm keeping because I'm going to surgical myself to shuffle. But the thing is, I if they were willing to cycle a veil there, they could probably just beat this force. No, are you really passing? All right, so we're going to surgical the sleight of hand. We're just shuffling our deck to try to hit this land here. Okay, come on, deck, please. Give me a land. Oh, my. All right, pass. Deck hates me. I, I mean, I probably deserve this. Like, I am begging to cast the card that I hate, and that's why it's not happening. Veil of Summer. We will dispel. Force pitch. Blue Elemental Blast. So an LED allows them to add nauseam here. And they have the Lion's Eye Diamond. You cannot misdirect an ad nauseum. Right of Flame. I'm really hoping that they decide to peer instead. Just like, they're like, yeah, ad nauseum could whiff, I'll peer, and then I can misdirect it and live gloriously. If their last two cards are Lion's Eye Diamond Burning Wish, they could. Or if they have Burning Wish in hand, they could activate... Um, what's going on here? Uh, they're just going to Natural Storm me. So I could misdirect this chain light or this chain of vapor. Bounce the claw. And if I do that, they get to activate it. We just let that go. Okay. Yeah, there's no point in me uh, misdirecting chain of vapor. 
So if they don't cast any more spells and just put tendrils on the stack, I can actually misdirect one. I'm going to get to live here, I think. Okay, so now... Misdirect this at... Exile this. Target them. Now we hit F6. We're not out of it yet. Draw, and we hit the land. But now I, now I, I have the claw. I don't really want to. Um, so I'm rewarded for trying to wait until I hit at least one more mana, because then I can use claw. Okay. Draw. Okay, so now we can use the Wish Claw. Go get... You want to get, like, Divining Witch? Because the Divining Witch could get both halves. Um, it's just really slow. I don't know. Um, right, I'm just going to grab Witch. No rod. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. One has one card in hand. Draw. Well, howdy. Um, let's dress them and find out what it is. Another chain of vapor. Interesting they didn't bounce the Null Rod. Um, okay. We'll just play the Witch. So if I draw a land now, we win the game. Carpet. Come on, Doc. Untap land. Draw. That doesn't do it. Um... I don't know if there's a card I'm supposed to name with the Divining Witch. So I really just need a land. Just going to pass. Okay. And now I can Wizard Cycle, go get like Snapcaster or something. So Snapcaster for Duress or Dispel. Okay, come on, Doc. Untap land. Um, guess I cast the portent. Shuffle. Pass the turn. Opponent fetches. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't snap cast her dress. Draw portent. So now they have six mana, seven mana. Relay for one. Sure. So I can name a land with the Divining Witch. I'm not missing that. The problem is if I name a land and then it's exiled in the top six, I lose the game. So I'm not trying to do that. Um, I feel like I'm in a spot where I can afford to wait and just naturally draw a land and not risk just losing. This is not a card we care about here. Um... I'm going to pass it, and then on their end step, I can Snapcaster Brainstorm. Okay. Snapcaster. Brainstorm. Cast Brainstorm. And tap land. That'll do, Peg. That'll do. Okay, so we'll tap this for blue, blue. Activate Oracle. And the Divining Witch activation. Discard Leyline of the Void. Uh, you are already dead. There we go. We got the 4-1 thanks to Misdirection. I mean, we did not get to Misdirect a Peer into the Abyss, but uh, still pretty good. Uh, I guess I should let this ability resolve. 
Look at that. We went 4-1 with Tainted Pack combo. This could have been a 5-0 if our opponent uh, didn't happen to draw into Dark Depths, which things happen in Magic. There's no need to get upset or angry or spiteful over it. Like, it happened. Uh, we knew that our opponent drew it because they didn't play land on the previous turn. And, well, I didn't build a deck list that had... Uh, they had answers. So before I went live, I was messing around with this and I almost put a submerge in the board and then ended up not doing it. Uh, and then submerge actually would have been pretty good in three of those matchups. So I was a little bummed about that uh, because in my mind, I was like, it's submerge versus this Dothy Voidwalker and submerge would have been amazing, but oh well. Uh, this deck list was really sweet. Thank you to Ethan for giving it to me to play today. I really do appreciate that. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Pretty happy with how we went. And uh, take care, keep storming, and have a terrific day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.